Hey everyone, Leanne here from Kingdom Blogger. So today I want to talk to you about using editable Canva templates to start creating your digital products. So whether you're creating digital products to give away for free to your subscribers, or maybe use them as an opt-in to get subscribers, or if you're jumping to the next level and wanting to create a bunch of digital products to list on Etsy and other marketplaces, sometimes it's helpful to have a starting point instead of having to do it from the ground up. I love editable templates. I use them for everything. Um, I've actually used their, them as inspiration to create my own editable templates for different functions uh, for my, you know, like blog planner and things like that. But as a Christian blogger, you know, prayer journals, Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and all those types of things, it can be really time consuming to start building those individual pages from scratch. Got to get the blocks all lined up and make sure everything's aligned and sized. And it can really take a lot of time. I know because I create templates and it is a lengthy process to get them created from scratch. So buying pre-made editable Canva templates is definitely a way to save time and also maybe give you some additional um, format, layout, creative kind of ideas that you may have not actually thought of on your own. So I'm going to show you some of the templates that I offer in my Etsy shop. And, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how to utilize them to kind of get your creative juices going so that you can start thinking big picture of the different things you might want to create in the coming year. So let's hop over here. All right. So this is, um, I just want to show you here. I have several different templates um, and I'm going to go through each one and kind of show you. So first note, if you're still using the free version of Canva, you do have some limitations in certain types of features. One of those is the ability to resize the designs you've made. So most things that you would create would probably be in an eight and a half by 11. Now, if you're planning to sell them on Etsy, for example, you want to have them available in at least three main sizes, US letter A4 and A5, because those are the most common uh, sizes that people look for, for their planners, for their Bible study, prayer journals, things like that. So in Canva free, if you create it as an eight and a half by 11, you have to recreate it each time from scratch. If you have Canva Pro, you can easily hit that resize button and automatically resize it. And it's pretty much a done deal. So I do have the Canva templates available in all three sizes. So if you buy, say, just I'm putting this out there, not that you have to buy them, say the Bible reading tracker, you buy it, it comes in eight and a half by 11 US letter A4 and A5. So all of those are included. You don't have to buy each one separately. And that is definitely for those who are on the free version of Canva to make it easier for you to get them in all three sizes. Because again, if you're going to upload them and list them on Etsy, you do have a better chance at making sales when they're available in all three. Okay, so let's start with this one. So this is a 12 month Bible reading plan template. Everything on here is fully edible. So there's four pages for each of the 12 months. And I'm just going to kind of show you how these would be edited. So of course you would, all the links, all the colors, the graphics, everything is editable. You can move things around. So in here, you would actually just put in the verse, each verse for that month that you, you know, that go along with the topic. Of course, the fonts can be changed as well. And so once you've added your verses, now it would be time to change the, the, you do have to change the color scheme and the graphics that are in here. So I am just going to pull, so if you just go here to elements and type in flowers, um, anything that's free that doesn't have the little pro symbol on it, you can utilize. So I am just going to pull, let's do this purple one. And so it pulls it right into the frame. Same with this. We'll pull it right into there. And then now I want to change. So if you didn't know, when you pull a graphic into your design and then you hit the color palette, it's going to bring up all the colors from the graphic that you just added, which is perfect for color matching. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then, of course, if I wanted to change, you know, the, the theme for this month or whatever. And then you would go through and do the same for all four pages for that month. And in here, you would add your prayer, or if you, you know, you could change the title of this if you didn't want it to be a prayer. And you would do that for all of these. And so that is how 
these can be designed. So these frames can be moved up, down, widened, you know, these down here on the bottom. Again, everything on the template is fully customizable and editable. All right, let's hop over to this one. So this one is just your standard kind of Bible study notes, uh, just in black and white. And so these are great if you were doing actual Bible studies, chapter studies, character studies. There's soap templates in here as well in different designs. So this one, they're fully long, two boxes, and then the block, uh, four squares, right? And so the same as we did on the Bible reading plan. So we're just going to add this little pretty thing here. I'm going to put it there and flip it. And so now I want to that over. I want to make my blocks to color match. And so I can do that one or I can do that one. And I would do that with all the blocks. Now, this particular uh, template, um, right now you're looking at it with the outline and white. I, it's also available with shaded blocks. So like how these are shaded. So the squares are actually shaded and you can find it with squared edges, 90 degrees or rounded edges. Again, however you want your design to look. And so you would pull out the worksheets that you would need, add the same graphics and uh, brand it. Another one here is a chronological uh, 52 weeks. So you can see here, um, there's two shaded blocks and white blocks in this one. Same exact thing, it's just these are shaded, these are not. And so the same with this, once you add kind of your graphic element to it, I'm just gonna put this one here and pull it up. I think I'm gonna flip that one. Here we go. And I wanna duplicate that and put it over here. Boom. And of course these can be changed to be a different color, but let's say we want to make these backgrounds that light pink. And so you could do this dark one with a green maybe, or the dark pink, again, whatever. Do the whole thing so it's branded to your Bible study. Here's another one. Um, it's a variation of multiple styles, most, multiple blocks. Again, everything is fully editable. So this particular one comes with, um, so lined and, I'm sorry, outlines, no outline, no lines at all, shaded backgrounds, not shaded, um, different styles. There's also editable covers, designs, if you wanted to use these for inspiration, everything in the block is editable. And so again, editable Canva templates are definitely a time saver. Of course, mine are not the only ones on there. If you go on Etsy, you can find tons of editable templates uh, for everything, for planners, for Bible study, for prayer journals, you know, gratitude journals, things like that. And so it's definitely a way to save you time so that you can easily go in there, just slap on your graphics, edit the text, and then download your product so that you can start sharing it with your readers or sharing it uh, as a product that you sell on Etsy. So anyway, I have included a link to my Etsy store down below. I also, if you're a Christian blogger um, that promotes uh, you know, shares stuff like this, or even prayer journals. I have um, a lot of different things in my Etsy shop. So if you would like to join my affiliate program, I do also have them listed uh, via Gumroad. Um, most Christian bloggers won't get accepted to the Etsy affiliate program, which is really crazy. But if you would like to promote my products, uh, the information on how to join my affiliate program is also listed in the notes below. So I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear your stories too. Have you used edible templates for creating some of the stuff that maybe you already have, or if you've been considering it. Um, also, if you have ideas for things that you need and you can't find the editable templates for it, let me know. Maybe I can take some time and create those as well. All right. So anyway, again, I would love to hear your feedback, your comments. Um, be sure to follow us here at Kingdom Blogger, subscribe to our channel and like this video and be sure to also join my Facebook group that's linked below as well. And that way I can answer any questions that you have about getting your Christian blog up and going as well as helping you start generating actual income. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.